I get a lot of questions from other marketers and content creators about how to get high quality content for their Instagram pages or their business Facebook when the only tool they have is an iPhone. We've made some videos lately covering shooting and editing techniques on something like a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, but I know not everyone has tools like that. So today we're gonna go over some options when you're only using a cell phone. And of course, we'll cover the same for shooting video very soon. Now this is specifically meant for marketers or businesses who need quick turn around but don't want to sacrifice the quality and the potential of the device that they're using. And what's more ubiquitous than an iPhone these days? So let's jump right in. For this you'll need an iPhone 6s or newer. This includes 6s Plus, iPhone SE, and the 7, 8, and 10 series. You will also need to get an app that can shoot RAW photos. If you want to learn more about what RAW is and why we use it, stick around until the end of the video. There are many apps that can shoot RAW, but today I'm going to show you two, and those are Adobe Lightroom CC and Visco. Now, of course, to use Adobe Lightroom, you need to already have a Creative Cloud subscription, and that's not free. Some of you may have this subscription already, but if you don't, Visco is the best secondary and free option that I was able to find in July of 2018. So let's start with the free one. If you open up Visco and just navigate over to the camera button in the top left-hand corner, you'll see this nice little camera application. You'll want to make sure that you have the little raw button down in the corner clicked. Make sure that the raw is appearing at the top of your photo and you can shoot away. So one thing to note when you're shooting raw in this app is you want to keep your exposure, that's the brightness of the photo that you shoot, just a little bit darker than you would shoot normally. So for instance, if you're shooting outside, pay attention to the color of the sky. If it's too white, maybe lower your exposure a little bit. Once you've taken your photos, you can bring them into Visco and do some editing. So I've taken this photo of this lovely Canada Post truck and I'm going to hit the little sliders here. And here is your edit studio. You have the ability to apply some basic exposure edits. So you can drag up, make the photo brighter, drag down to make the photo darker. And you can adjust cropping, you can sharpen the image, you can adjust the saturation and highlight and shadow tones. You can do a lot of stuff. My recommendation for editing a really crispy and nice photo, go to your exposure and just boost it a little bit. I'd say bring down your highlight tone by dragging this slider here and lift your shadow tone by also sliding this slider. I would also recommend adding just a light amount of sharpening. Don't go too crazy on the sharpening because you can make your photos look really ugly real quick. And once you've played around with the image enough and you're happy with it, you can hit save. And now you're ready to save to your camera roll. Just hit your little triple dot here, click save to camera roll. Medium is more than enough size for sharing on social media if that's what you're doing. Now Visco does have a few features that they lock behind a paywall. You can choose to pay for Visco X they call it, but honestly if you're going to pay for a photo app I'd recommend moving over to the other app we're going to show you today, which of course is Adobe Lightroom CC. Now we're going to open up Adobe Lightroom. You can hit the camera button down in the bottom right hand corner. And to shoot raw in this app, you just want to navigate to the top of your screen where there's a little DNG or a JPEG icon. Make sure you have it checked to DNG and voila, you are shooting raw. Same rules apply when you're using this app. Try to watch the skies if you're shooting outside and keep that exposure a little darker than you would normally. These raw photos take a lot better adjustments when you're messing around with them in post-production. Now, Adobe's app is very similar to Visco, but with some key additions. One of these key additions is a thing called Color Mix. This allows you to change the hue, saturation, and brightness of eight different color channels. This can allow you to dial in some really unique color tones. And if your business page on Instagram or Facebook has a very unique color, you can match it to a T. You'll see on the slide photo, I can drag the red channel around. If I go over to the green channel, you'll see it change. You can boost the saturation, you can boost the brightness. You can do a lot more with this app. And again, once you're satisfied with your image, you just wanna hit the share button at the top, hit save to camera roll, and small 2048 pixels is more than enough for social media, just like in Visco. Now the very last thing that you'll wanna do when you're shooting raw on apps like Adobe Lightroom and Visco is make sure that you're going back and deleting your raw files. Because you can do so much more with these files, of course, they take up a lot of space on your phone. If you shoot too many of these, you're gonna run out of space. In Adobe Lightroom, it's super simple. Just hit the triple dot up in the corner, tap delete, and you can select any and all of the photos that you wanna get rid of. Now you're done. That's how you shoot raw and get amazing image quality out of your iPhone. Now, of course, the iPhone takes amazing photos to begin with. So you might be asking yourself, 
why would I mess around with this in the first place? When you're shooting in good lighting situations, the iPhone already will be good enough for 90% of you. In bad lighting scenarios, however, when you shoot raw, you can usually recover or fix a lot of those problems that the automatic settings in the camera app wouldn't be able to correct for. And finally, if you're still wondering what the heck raw is, well, it's essentially capturing all of the data off of your camera's sensor so that you can manipulate it afterwards. That's why these files are so big and why I say you need to go delete them after the fact. That's it for this video. Are you gonna be shooting raw? Tag us in some of your photos that you've taken with your iPhone in raw mode, we'd love to see them. And of course, if you need a new website or you're struggling with marketing on the web, visit our website at cheekymonkeymedia.ca. We'll see you soon.